Hot chocolates, one of my favorites, and one of the things that we sell the most at the store. You can take some 2% milk, you can use water, you can use whole milk, I just uh, like the 2%. Um, I'm going to bring the milk to a boil. So just two cups. I'm going to take a couple of minutes for that to boil. Then I'm going to, I will put, for two cups of milk, I will put one cup of hot chocolates. The hot chocolates come in two forms. Um, wicked hot chocolates, which is chocolate with spices. So I went to Mexico, I, went, I learned about spices that they use there, and I mix that with spices that we use in Europe. Uh, so it's called penepis spices, and also ancho and chipotle chili. The regular hot chocolates is just plain good hot chocolates. I always use real chocolates. I don't use cocoa powder. Um, real chocolate is a chocolate that way smoother, that go to a conch for hours. Uh, the flavor is a lot more intense and better. Um, during the time that I'm waiting for the milk to boil, I'm going to prep that. This is a canister to make uh, the whipped cream. I'm going to fill that with some whipped cream. Okay, should be, okay, that's good. Almost to the top. Then put that on top. Then I'm going to use a cartridge, a cartridge of gas. Put that here. And it's ready. Okay, so we have that, we have everything ready. Let's see, is that going as fast as possible? We just have to wait a minute. Let me present you something else here. This is a little grinder, and I put some um, chipotle chili. Um, that's just to give it a little kick. So when you use the plain hot chocolate, you can add a little bit of that. Or if you don't want to do that, you can use the one that's already made. Um, what I like about those measuring cups, they are made with recycled plastic. And um, we try to be as green as we can. Um, it's not always difficult when you run a business to be completely green, but whatever we can do. So between the metal um, canister and the green cups, it's something. Okay, so that's almost boiling. So I'm going to open the canister. Then put one cup of the powder slash pieces. You can see that we put really a lot of chocolates in there. So that's something very important. When you make the hot chocolates, you have to stir it. Chocolates contain sugar. Sugar will caramelize and stick to the pot and attach to the pot if you don't stir. So stir until the hot chocolate boil. Now the hot chocolate has to boil. The reason is we put a little tiny bit of starch and to activate that starch to, keep, to give that velvety um, texture, you need to boil the, the hot chocolates. So that's important. So it's so almost going to boil here. So we give it another second here. You can stop stirring for a few seconds, it's okay, but not that long. Okay, so now it starts boiling. Ooh, I wish that you can smell that. So, the chocolate is ready to be served now. You can take the hot chocolate and put it directly in the cups, or what you can do is transfer that into this container here. The reason is, that has 
a blade inside that's going to form the chocolate, give it a form. In the past, and you can see some um, drawing from the Aztec time when they was starting to make hot chocolates, and they used to take two pots, one like that and another one on the floor, and pour the hot chocolates into one pot and then transfer and then do it again four, five, six times until the chocolates get very aerated. And then they used to serve it. So here, you don't have to go crazy like that. You can just do that. And then pour. You see how bubbly it is. This is great. Then the next things that I'm going to do, so I'm going to take my whipped cream, put a little bit of whipped cream on top of the hot chocolate. <laughs> is that cool? You can fight with that. You run after people and you spray them with it. I love it. OK, then if you want to put a little bit of spices, go very slowly with that. Chipotle is a strong spice. And this is a hot chocolate. I'm proud of this one. I love the hot chocolate. So I recommend that you try that one.